hello beautiful people listen to Roma. welcome to the channel today we're going to be checking this video and it's titled the deluded megan marco irritated at victoria beckham's wealth seriously hmm. interesting so we're going to be checking this one out you're the courtesy let's check it out joining me now is royal and entertainment reporter kinsey schofield kinsey let's talk about this new biography looking into the beckhams and it makes claims about Meghan Markle deluding herself into thinking she was of a higher social rank than the famous couple and was irritated to learn the truth. She even asked Victoria Beckham to give her free bags and shoes with their relationship now frosty, despite the fact that the Beckhams did attend the royal wedding. Uh, what more can you tell me about this? Oh my gosh, and this is Tom Bauer, who's such an incredible author, wrote Revenge, that amazing Harry and Meghan book, uh, where in that book, he specifically says, Harry, a, a you know, accused David Beckham. He said, is Victoria leaking stories about Meghan? How are people finding out where <laughs> Meghan Markle is getting her hair done? And it turned out it wasn't Victoria leaking stories. It was it was the girl at the front desk at the hair salon. Uh, and, and that created this huge rift between the couple. And now Bauer's going even further and saying that Meghan had an attitude towards Posh uh, because she felt like there was a hierarchy. She was marrying a prince. And the reality was that... David and Victoria are incredibly important because financially these two have created a nice nest egg for, for themselves. They're both entrepreneurs. They both keep very busy and they actually do a lot of work, which is something that you and I both know Megan is not familiar with. But wait, wait, what? She's asking for bags competing with the Beckhams? Is this real? Or is something wrong because uh, with everything pre um, being said here and with other videos that we've seen it just goes to tell you how people feel about her and her personality and the way she treats people it is important to take note and no that doesn't sound right. It doesn't even make sense. And that this is, and yet they want or she wants people to like her. How? How? In competition with the Beckhams or with Victoria Beckham? Seriously? Wow. Or she is asking for bow. The desperate need to be in the spotlight so bad or to control everything do make sense. Let me know what you think. Let's go on. You're with. <laughs> that is very true. Now, uh, Kevin Costner has revealed that Prince William once told him that his mum, Princess Diana, of course, fancied the actor. Apparently, he had met Diana to discuss co-starring in a never-made sequel to his 1992 hit, uh, The Bodyguard, and that, that would have been some film if it featured Diana. My gosh. Uh, uh, that is a cute story. Yeah, it is, um, but it actually started out with a little bit of tension because he tells Howard Stern in this interview that the royal family accused him of lying and he felt attacked by the men in gray suits. So he actually picked up the phone and called Fergie, the Duchess of York, and said, help, help me out. Who do I contact? They're calling me a liar. I don't like the negative attention. So he felt a bit attacked by the royal family. And then Prince William reached out to meet him when he was at school and said, you know, my mom had a little bit of a crush on you, which smoothed everything over but get in line princess diana kevin costner is still a hunk <laughs> never been my type but uh good for you kinsey <laughs> uh to, let's talk about uh, justin timberlake uh he's had a bit of a rough patch i had uh some of his dance moves being widely mocked on social media um uh, saying he dances like a dad these days and now his mug shot has been beamed across the world after he was arrested for drink driving in the ha hamptons just how drunk was he? Because uh, there are reports that he was wasted. 
Yeah, I mean, that's a good question. And his attorney is saying that he's going to fight this. He refused to take a breathalyzer test, but he did have to, you know, walk the line. Um, but you're absolutely right about him ha- struggling. His concert sales have been kind of in the dumps lately. We we are we're assuming that is based on the real shift during the Me Too era of people attacking him for not being taken down a notch after the Janet Jackson Super Bowl incident. All of the negative attention was on Janet Jackson. Then Britney came out with all of her revelations in her book yes. uh, saying that he insisted she have an abortion. Uh, he was caught allegedly cheating in New Orleans with a co-star that did not reflect well on him. And 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 so then he releases this new music. It doesn't do great. Starts trying to tour, you know, tours not selling very well. And now you're seeing this. Uh, I have a lot of sympathy for him, but I also can't, I can't understand Gail King going on TV, defending somebody driving under the influence. Like I, yeah, I I loved this guy growing up, but you should never get behind the wheel of a car after consuming alcohol. Exactly. Can't he hire a chauffeur or driver? Like, I love Justin Timberlake. I love his music. I listen to his music all the time. But this, it just goes to tell you the life of some of the celebrities. Like, sometimes it is funny. It don't make sense. Everybody knows this. Every normal human being knows this. Who would do such a thing? Because I've said it before, especially when it comes to Hollywood or Hollywood, their lifestyle is completely different from the one we live in the normal world. And their lifestyle is self-created. They want to infiltrate their ideology, whatever they have, to the normal world. It don't make sense. Honestly, when I saw this, saw this in the news, I just couldn't believe it. I was like, wait, what? Driving under the influence? Is it that hard to take an Uber or a car back home instead of driving? Like, it don't make sense. Let me know what you think about it, though. But well, let's go on. Yeah. Absolutely. He knows better. I mean, he's, he's not that there's ever an excuse, but he's hardly some dumb teenager. He, that is, uh-huh. um, it'll be interesting to see just how much over he was uh, over the legal limit. Now, you're coming to us from London, where you've uh, recently attended Royal Ascot. Prince William was there with his uh, mother-in-law, Carol Middleton. What is the latest uh, on Princess Catherine and her uh, cancer battle? Absolutely. Well, I saw Catherine at Trooping. I, you know, got in line at 6 a.m., rain pouring all down on me. I felt like she looked absolutely amazing. Yeah. Um, and I do, th- and, and just even the way that the children were engaging with each other, it was very uplifting, uh, uplifting to see that they were in high spirits. It makes you feel like if they're in a good mood, perhaps everything's going well at home. I think this is another great indication mm. that things are improving for Prince William to show up with his mother and father-in-law. He was holding Carol Middleton hand. It was very beautiful. And I just think that maybe we are, uh, you know, on the right path, on a good path. We heard from her uh, last week saying she's not in the clear yet, good days and bad days. But we've seen her recently. The kids look like they are, you know, just blissfully joyful. And then to see her mother out and about for the first time since her cancer diagnosis, laughing in good spirits with the family. I I really think that this is a good indication of what's going on behind the scenes. Oh, we missed you earlier in the week but we did have a whole thing on Louis because you know Louis is my favourite royal I want him to be king already and uh, his performance at the uh, trooping was adorable he he was just his usual naughty Louis and uh, he was not taking any directions from his mum or his big sister now this story is going to get people fired up NFL legend Bill Belichick has a new girlfriend who is 48 years old his junior, the former New England Patriots coach, is uh, 72 now, met his 24-year-old girlfriend, Jordan Hudson, a former cheerleader, on a plane. He was spotted at a cheerleading competition in Maryland to uh, support her. Now, they're two consenting adults, I'll admit that, Kinsey, but the age difference here, I mean, is there 72-year-old dating a 24-year-old ever okay? 
I mean, uh, it's like dating not a daughter, but a granddaughter. It's giving Anna Nicole Smith vibes. I mean, good for her if she gets a Range Rover out of it. But it is this. It isn't it so. I mean, I can't. I couldn't do this. This feels weird to me. And um, you know, I feel like both have ulterior motives. It, I'm not thinking that this is love striking either one of them at, at that opportune moment. This it's giving weird vibes. Hmm. It is giving weird vibes, but we shouldn't assume it is just uh, motivated by money or fame. Um, uh, it could be daddy issues. It could be all sorts of things, Kinsey. Uh, mm-hmm. I think we're going to have to delve into this a little bit deeper, maybe bring in some sort of a psych- psychologist to give us some insights. <laughs> but the age difference here is just astonishing. I'm all for love is love, but let's just, you know, keep it sensible because he is really grandfather age for her. That's bizarre. Kinsey Schofield, it's always a pleasure. Enjoy London and we'll speak to you next week. Thank you. Yo, Princess Catherine was looking beautiful, stunning um, in the outfits for the troop in the colour. It was beautiful to see her regardless. Also Prince Louis, I thought he was just being a child, um, being a kid and just being playful, being himself and all of that which is beautiful to see and makes it like creates that level of connection between him and other kids his age and i don't think anything wrong of it or what do you think about it do but let's talk about this age difference here i'm short of words times three his age Because the age difference, something is wrong somewhere. Very true. Something is very wrong. It might also be as a result of daddy issues. But this one that we are seeing here is not love. It does not look like love. Don't know what anybody is going to say, but it does not look like love. It is not love. Forget it. But again, this is interesting though. Uh, I think what was best now is for people to give Princess Catherine the time, uh, the respect that she needs. Because it wouldn't be wise to put much pressure on st- and stress on her and for her to show up when she's not ready. But rather, people should wish her, wish her quick recovery in her health and be in her best self for official duties or official family functions and stuff. And enjoy the moment and be in the moment. But this was interesting. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment down below. I'm sure tons of people have interesting things to share. I really love to share that share the useful information you think might be really helpful make sure to like comment and subscribe and all of that stuff and until next time see you in the next video